What if you are the psychopath? Hey man, damn plan has already done this. Wait, really? Damn it. Well, if you've already heard these, then do me a favor and let me just wipe your memory real quick. Oh wow, I answered all these questions correctly. Guess I'm a psychopath. Disclaimer, if you answer them correctly, that does not mean you're a psycho. This is not an actual test to diagnose you. They're just questions slash riddles with many possible answers, and it just means you have some analytical skills. Just enjoy the video. But before we start, I want to thank Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market, and they sound just as amazing as other top audio brands. So get your everyday E25 earbuds at buyraycon.com slash D for 15% off your first order. You're watching Netflix late at night when all of a sudden someone knocks on the door. You look through the peephole and there is a man holding a knife. What are you going to do? The normal answer? Don't open the door. Hey kid, open up! Um, nope. I don't think I will. Beep boop, beep boop. 911, yeah, hello? Um, a crazy guy with a knife is outside my room. The psychopath answer. You open the door, take the knife away from the man, and stab him repeatedly without a single expression on your face. Olivia and her sister is at her own mother's funeral. A few moments later, she looks up to see a man she's never met. He was very handsome, and they started talking. He cheered her up, was very kind to her, and Olivia immediately thought, this guy could be the love of my life. However, she forgot to ask for his name and number, and couldn't find anyone who knew who he was. A few days later, Olivia kills her own sister. Why did she kill her? People might say that she found out her sister was dating the mysterious man and she got jealous and wanted him all to herself, but the psychopath could think that Olivia killed her sister because she hoped the mystery dream guy would also show up to her sister's funeral and she would be able to see him again. You're staying alone on the 15th floor of a hotel building, about to go to bed. You walk to the window to close the curtains when you see a man on the other side in another building wiping off his bloody knife and notice a dead body behind him. Momentarily stunned, the man makes eye contact with you and stares at you for a few seconds. Then he starts mouthing something and points his finger in an upward direction. What is he doing? Normal answers could be the man is telling you not to call the police, or he's signaling to you that you're his next victim. However, the psychopath would also think in the murderer's point of view and say the man is counting the number of floors up to your hotel room. An explorer and his crew were stranded in the Arctic for several months. When they were finally rescued, the explorer was reunited with his wife and told her all of his stories about how their ship crashed and the captain had to feed the remaining crew members ivory ghouls while they huddled on the ice together in order to survive. A few days later, the explorer's wife became curious and decided to try these ivory ghouls for herself. He agreed to eat some with her. However, immediately after the first bite, he began to cry and later took his own life. What happened to make him do this? It's correct if you thought the man had triggering memories after eating that dish, and maybe there was trauma attached to those grueling months in the Arctic. But the answer of the psychopath is that the man realized the ivory gold tasted nothing like what he ate on the ice, and he suddenly realized the captain was feeding them their dead crewmates and he could no longer live with this guilt. We're introduced to a couple with their one teenage son. Every day, the parents walk their son to school. Unfortunately, other kids see this and pick on the son in horrible ways, causing him to come home in hysterics every night. 
to solve this problem, the parents decide to take out individual students from the school at random. Why are they doing this? The parents didn't know specifically which students were picking on their son. So the psychopath answer for this could be, they wanted to solve the situation in an unsettling way. So now that there is a known murderer on the loose, other parents would likely start to walk their kids to school as well, making the family's behavior completely normal. Let me know how well you all did in the comments below, and if you have your own psychopath riddle that you want to share, make sure to comment that below as well. Once again, thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Now, I've been using these earbuds while I'm animating this psychopath video and working out, and I love them because it's comfortable, it doesn't fall off, and the compact carrying case can charge your earbuds four times on a single charge. Their newest model, the Everyday E25 earbuds, are their best ones yet with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice, noise-isolating fit. And there's a variety of colors to choose from, so make sure to Go to buyraycon.com slash D for 15% off your first order.